Well, in this video I'm going to explain how to use the new EasyClix macros that now has the ability to just record the macro without having the need to specify details for each step. So what we have to do is first click here, then we have to select a, a key or keys to call the macro. For example, I will select and um, press the print screen key and start the recording like this 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 and this and after that click here to finish the recording and uh, about finishing the recording we have another possibility that is a uh, after clicking here and selecting a key that in this case is insert with the caps lock off it could be with the caps lock on uh, if we had it like that but uh, in this case is with the caps lock off and when we are recording we will be able to use that key to stop uh, the recording and finish the macro. This uh, will do as well to enable disable the macros as this button would do as well. And we have another possibility that is to post resume the recording that would be set in a similar way here. And that option would do as well to stop uh, the execution of a macro, I mean to interrupt it. And after pressing that key again, we will be able to continue that macro or maybe just call another one. But now that the option is not important. Uh, what we will see is that the macro was properly recorded and after clicking here to enable the macros we will test it and as we see the macro is properly recorded now we have to see how to edit it we select it here from the key we used to call it and here we will improve the the times between the f steps here this is the milliseconds before the second step it's excused it i will put just uh, 100 then uh, with the down key i will go to the steps uh, combo and down again to select the next step this will take 100 milliseconds as well uh, this one could take a little more uh, this one is not needed it's just uh, a move and the only one needed is the first one I will delete, delete it now again the next one uh, 100 and now we can test it out again and here to see that the, the velocity, the speed, I mean, and the speed changes. And now we see that the speed is 2. So the macro is working properly and now it's faster. And well, that was it. How to record the macro and how to edit it. I hope it was uh, useful. Uh, so, well, that's it. Bye.